Dashboard visualizations are often placed over source data. To view the underlying data, you need to hide these floating objects, charts, images, shapes, etc. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I demonstrate how to toggle the visibility of such floating objects in your worksheet, both by recording a macro, then by using Copilot, and compare the effectiveness of the two methods. Let's explore these options. In this worksheet, I have some charts, a column chart, a pie chart, a scatter plot chart. I also have a picture, and I have some shapes, a rounded rectangle, a left pointing arrow. Then in this black frame, I have a logo. This is floating on top of the grid. And I also have a checkbox control that we insert through the developer tab. In the blue rectangle, I have a picture inside the cell and I have a checkbox that was inserted by going to the insert tab of the menu. These two are not considered floating objects. Now, what if I want to toggle the visibility of all the floating objects to reveal the source data underneath these objects? Well, to do that, I'm going to display the selection pane. I can do that by using the shortcut Alt F10. And in the selection pane, if I click on hide all, then I'll be hiding all the floating objects. And if I click on show all, I'll bring them back. I want to automate this functionality by recording a macro. To record a macro, I go to the Developer tab of the ribbon and I click on Record Macro. I'll give it a name, Show Hide Objects, and I'll give it a shortcut, Control shift p and now I start the recording. I hit OK. I'm in the process of recording. All what I'm going to do in this macro is to click on Hide All, and I'm hiding all the floating objects. Now I'm going to stop the recording and have a look at the macro that I just created. To see the macro, I click on Macros on the Developer tab, and then I click on Edit. The Visual Basic Editor opens, and here is the code that was created. It's a loop for Next. It repeats a single line of instruction from 1 to the total count of the shapes we have, activesheet.shapes.count. To toggle the visibility, I copy this part of the code, active sheet dot shapes I dot visible, control C to copy, and to the right side of the equal sign, I type not, space, and I paste. That should toggle the visibility. I close the Visual Basic Editor, I'm back to Excel, and now I want to test. Control Shift P. It brings back all the floating objects. Control Shift P, it hides all the floating objects. And this is how easy it was to create it by using a macro and make a simple modification in the Visual Basic. I'm going to bring all the shapes, Control Shift P, and now I want to use Copilot to generate a code for me, assuming that I have no idea how to write this code and I don't know how to record a macro. So using Copilot will make it a lot easier. To do that, I click on the Home tab, and here is Copilot. I click on Copilot, and the Copilot pane opens on the right side. Note, your file should be saved to the clouds. I'm saving my file to OneDrive, and Autosave should be turned on. Now I'm going to write the prompt for Copilot to create the code for me. I click in the lower box, and I start typing my prompt. I want to create a VBA code that toggles the visibility of all floating objects in the worksheet. I click on the Send button, and now Copilot is working on it. It's understanding my data, and it generated the code. As simple as that, it created the code for me. Let me copy the code and paste it in the Visual Basic Editor, then test it. I copy the code from the sub to the end sub, Control c to copy, and then I open the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, and below the previous code, I'm going to paste the one that was generated by Copilot, Control v Here is my code. 
The first one is the one recorded by a macro and then modified in the Visual Basic. The second one is the one created by Copilot. The name of the subroutine is Toggle Floating Objects Visibility. So I want to run it by adding a little button to the Quick Access Toolbar. I close the Visual Basic Editor and I click on the down arrow to the right side of the Quick Access Toolbar. I click on More Commands. The Excel Options dialog box opens. I switch from Popular Commands to Macros. And now I'm looking at the macro, Toggle Floating Objects Visibility. I select it and then I click on Add to add it to my Quick Access Toolbar. I can also modify the icon by clicking on Modify. And let's say I'll be giving it this butterfly icon and then I hit OK and I hit OK to close the Excel Options dialog box. Now I close Copilot and let's test. When I click on the butterfly, all the floating objects are gone. When I click on the butterfly a second time, I bring them back. So we generated the code in two different ways, by using a macro and then by using Copilot. Write me in a comment which method you prefer. And if you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.